Balik kita sa base. Nasaan ni Bago? Oh, wait. Tinawag na nato. Dari ko na. Nasa ni Bago. Before tamo sulo dito. Say, meron mang gihapon. Sige mo lagi hapon. Oh, may ang bag ko pa. Mag-restock tabi. Huwag na tayo stock sa tuwang inventory. Wait. Ah, sa tuwang... Wala may nagbago. Same lang yapon. Nice. Atong walay stock kay... Sa banto? Ah... Uh, bones. na eh, bones. Shield water dito. Para ano yung... Magkuhan daw ito. Katong gather na mga... Tawag na yung mga parts nila, so... Oh, mag-reflect lagi dari ang atong mga nakuha na, no? Na mga sub-functions. Nice. Gusto ko aning... Kani? Sukaman... Na... Saan man eh? Asta, may na potion din. Bukit ko yung gabit gamit. Gusto may na potion ba? Siguro na. Ito na takang gaya. Oh! Nana si... Alvader eh. Ha? Yawa eh. Saan niya? It's a shuttle. Like the one I blew up at Farzina's launch facility. Carl seemed pretty interested in space travel. I guess he wanted a keepsake. Greenhouse files. Greenhouse files. Ah, there you are. We'll talk to them once we've finished our mission. Wait, that's one though. in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your sub-functions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega Clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta Gemini. 
Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zenith. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy, you better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. No, nangyari. Wait, mag butang sa tao katong drone. Nakuha na to na to tong drone sa. More data for the dome. Sakuan. Ay, sino to? Nakuha na to na to ang drone dito sa ato ilaha Alva. Yung sa beach. Nandahan si Gaya ane ba? Right? Good choice. Wapo kayo. Ang saka na si Beta. Aloy. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back? Alone. In a cell again. A slave. Forever. Laurel and I will be at Gemini too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zeniths aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me! Nothing can protect me from them! I told you from the beginning we'll never beat them! It's hopeless! Beta... Leave me alone! You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me. So what's the difference? What's my defect? He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did he feel like? It was like... 
Having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. Wait. Ato uh, ang level 31. Ato ang quest. Dapat uh, level 30 ta. Okay. Di ba ako ready, oi? Damn it. But whatever. We are never ready in life, you know. Hello again, Aloy. Mabala lang itong beach dery na scenery. Sayang. Hello, Aloy. Hey, Gaia. So, uh, me and Beta, I guess you heard what happened. Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel, I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Or we can continue our conversation if you like. Continue sa dato na daw na to be wait. Uh The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Mana manatatani, sorry. Rewilded the earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Pharaoh. Ted. Guess he got what he deserved. In the end? Yes. An igneous conclusion to his pathological narcissism, impulsive tendencies, and instability. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density, empowering my overall function. Unfortunately, as we now know they are in the possession of Far Zenith. Attaining them in the short term is very likely impossible. I guess our best shot at recovering them is by taking over the Zenith base. But we'll need Hephaestus and a bunch of combat machines to do that. Correct. Ah, uh, Demeter, wait. 
Genius Naranta. The Zenas. Gerard, Eric, Tilda, Verbena. Beta said they were some of the most powerful people on Earth. I think Elizabeth knew one of them. Tilda. Did she ever mention her to you? No. Elizabeth often spoke of her work, or told stories of her mother and her childhood. If she knew this Tilda, she did not disclose it with me. What we can conclude from your and Beta's experiences is that the Zeniths are ruthless in pursuit of their goal. To protect life on Earth, they must be stopped. Uh, I'll make it clearance, biosphere death status. So now that you have Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided. Water sources have been purified. And soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck, soon you'll have Hephaestus. Then you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. So our plan to capture Hephaestus. Let's go over it again. As you wish. Thanks to Beta's test, we now know that Hephaestus will not respond to your Alpha Clearance. Which is why I got Ted Pharaoh's Omega Clearance. Correct. While you were gone, Beta constructed the transport rig and pulse generators. When we get to Gemini, I will need to be installed on one of the facility's cores. The second core is for Hephaestus. Using Omega Clearance will allow you to trap it. And then you'll be able to absorb it. Not quite. You will need to manually remove Hephaestus's malicious code before the merge. How long will that take? Because the work will be split between you and Beta, it will take approximately 4.5 hours. And during that time, the others will create a distraction for us using the pulse generators, right? Correct. They will each take position at a cauldron door and fire off their device. The energy surge should mask our activities until the merge is complete. And then we'll have everything we need to defeat the Zenus. Sounds like a plan. There's something I've been wondering. How could Ted Pharaoh create a clearance level higher than Alpha? Elizabeth made sure he wouldn't interfere with the project. It is plausible he tasked his own engineers with creating a back door to the Zero Dawn system, without Elizabeth's knowledge. My predecessor did not even know of its existence until he activated it to purge the Apollo database. It is, in effect, a blind spot, one that will allow us to subdue Hephaestus. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Herond has asked on numerous occasions <laughs> birthday about parties. birthday parties. So we'll go in. He appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection, as it conflicts with the Osaram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also suggested we host a party for you. As a surprise. Uh, yeah, no thanks. That is what I predicted. So, about Beta. I never really saw the difference between us until now. She's been through so much, completely alone. You have both endured many hardships. Different in almost every respect, yet equally remarkable. I like to think of you as two miracles, born of Elizabeth Sobek. 
three, then. Let's not forget about you, Gaia. Is Catalo getting along with everyone? Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be collating data on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague. To aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private pastime for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. How's all of us settling in? As soon as she arrived, Alva was eager to study the data in the archive. A particular file soon caught her attention. Information about a machine assistant devoted to keeping living spaces neat and orderly. I informed her that once I am empowered with the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to design such a machine. I'm sure she'll like that. When I set out to find a way to bring you back, I never thought we'd be here, like this. Among friends. They have all come a long way with their improvised educations. Varl has suggested that one day we might extend this model to more tribal inhabitants, once the biosphere has been stabilized. Yeah, that's not such a bad idea. As long as you're the one running the lessons. Uh, about the old world, last Demeter. Have you been able to make use of Demeter's functions? Yes. I was able to mitigate most soil conditions and restore a temporary balance. You should notice less rampant plant growth in the area. Maybe that'll give Plainsong's fields a chance to recover. Unfortunately, recovery in that area is unlikely without the assistance of the Utaru's land gods. I have discussed this matter with Zo. I believe we may have a workaround. I believe Zo will want to explain the plan. Okay, I'll check with her when I can. There's something I'm still trying to figure out. Why was Demeter using flying machines to distribute metal flowers? In its deranged state, Demeter was defending itself against a robotic swarm that would devour all plant life. It thought the Pharaoh Plague was still happening? It feared it would come again. As part of its directive of receding Earth's vegetation, it sought to protect plant life at all costs. And considering it had 20 years to proliferate, I expect you will continue to find the fruits of its efforts for some time. That's a good thing I have the code to dissolve the vines, then. Okay, let's go. So let's not go running about the old world. Just us now. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone to Ah, go. that one last mission. Let's go. Ah, not a frenzy Aloy. Good luck, Erend. Good luck, Sayin Yong Duha. Dere na final battle ba? Gawas ni mga farzinit dere, promise. Alright, it can't be this easy. Booting up. Be 
Vegeta, Aloy. I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Errant, everyone. Fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my cauldron. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay, radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Gaia, let's cage the beast. Connecting to the Cauldron Network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Clearance confirmed. Initiating containment sequence. Critical threat Lock it down. Terminating external connections. It's working. It's got nowhere to go. Wait, what's that? Malware detected. Attempting to compensate. It's cracked. Look! That means machines are on their way. Get ready. Here they come. Oh my god. This is it, guys. Oh my god, ngano nag dag man. Here. Protect Beta. Got it. Be careful. Stay back. Eloy, help. Oh. Fucking hell. Get back. Busy ko, busy ko. Val, you have to defend for yourself. Jesus Christ. No shit. Uy, gago na ako. Lagi gapon ko. Hey, boy! 
Sabuka na yung beta, oy. Gago. Wala tayo heal ba? Wait lang be. Tag heal sabi. You two okay? Still breathing. Hey Lily. Hephaestus can't escape, but it must have fled. Deeper into the facility. Deeper into the facility. I'll drive it back here. I'll get the cracked core fixed in the meantime. Asa. You're safe, Varl. All my life. it out of wherever it's hiding. Make it retreat to the core. Shit, drop it. Come on, look, uh, go. No, you don't, Hephaestus. I'll find another way over. Uh. This will break my fall. Where am I going then? I'm almost there. Where? Oh, okay. Will Custer date it? Chamber. Festus is up to something, all right. What what kind of machine is it trying to build? I don't know, but I'm gonna shut it down. I bet those metal carriers will lead me to where it's getting materials from. I bet that's where Festus is hiding too.
Let me see, let me see. It's on a rail, did it? Kailangan tamo sa kaya na nila oh. Oh, nilagay ko makasaka. Tag isa pa. Ready, go. Ata o baba. Fucking hell, some more con in here, eh?
Holy shit! Oh no! Joke. Oops, I'm not gonna do that. Salamat. It sounds like it fled to another chamber. Well, it better not get comfortable. What's up, Juani? Too. I guess Aaron's missing out. Hey, wait. I'm making progress on the bypass, but I, I need something to hold the cycling module together. Maybe a ligament from one of the machine carcasses? Right. O or some luminous braiding. We could reinforce it with a conversion cylinder. For increased connectivity! I, I think... I think we can do this, Aloy. Gani, positive na ka, Beta. God damn, where do we go next?
Где это? Да. Ай, пойди, дай. Ха, зиплайн. Ой, да, гана, кай, когна. Ah, damn it, patay ko! Yawa! <laughs> patay ko ba yung gago kayo? Shit! Nó này là em Fuck Kill the machines Where are the machines then? Oh, here we go again oh, That just is so good I'll try to get your access back Oh, I'm going to 
now. What now, NSA? Oh, oh. She can't move. I could grapple in for a big hit. Ah, damn it. I grapple, man. Do you Oh, go. I see. I. Go. Wapuning poison came a girl. You did have a lifting. I'm going to go to the parts. Salaman sa Tani. Return to the assembly chamber. Festus is running out of places to hide. Uh, Aimly? Patay, Farzinet, di ba? Search back in the production chamber. Something big is happening. Here too. Everything's glowing. The machine that Festus was building. It must have finished it. It's, it's powerful. Whatever it is. I'm almost done with the core repairs. Should should we come to you? Maybe I could distract the machine if No, thank you. Stay where you are, okay? Handling the machine's my job. Oh, Jesus Christ! Paita, Fuck off. Finish the target. Uh. Fucking boss fight.
Woi, gagus kita toy. Fuck you, Hephaestus! You did it! Yo, uh, uh, there, there should be one more note to override. Good. Stand by. I'm sending Hephaestus back to you. Right. Bridgewater, they know what they're not gonna go with. What many pulls, oi? Glad you came along. Thank you, Varl. We couldn't have done any of this without you. Right back at you, Aloy. Not a burger. Huh. So all money pug. Wait long. So all money pug. Change. No, no, Monday, ni. Mm. This stamina portion, trans portion, no. Where does your tomaka one? Craft, no? Talk craft, bye. Hey, Loy. The core is stable. is 100% contained. Nice! Establish the link, please. Done. Okay. To 
complete the merge, we need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully. Zenith. It's too good to be true. It's too easy. Well, hello, redundant copy. You cost us quite a lot of time. Eric, get beta. And squash that bad boy. Okay, I can't say that I'm surprised. Na spoil na ko dugay na the social media shit. So I know na mamatay si Varl. So sad. Anyway. <laughs> Finally. Tilda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Tilda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Tilda! OMG! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! Butan din si Tilda. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. I can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Well, wow. breakfast. <laughs> okay. What 
is this? Just a few favorites from my collection. Ano ang ginaingo ni Beta? Stored here just before I went off world. Take a look if you like. Okay, sure. I'm curious to hear your impressions. My friend is dead. Beta and Gaia are gone, and you want me to look at old paintings? Don't be so quick to dismiss the comfort we can find in art or the insight we might gain. Fine. The Gust by Willem van der Velde, the most famous of his many maritime paintings. A ship crossing into the unknown. I guess you're familiar with that. Indeed, which is why I appreciate this composition in particular. Though waves and wind threaten to destroy the ship, it perseveres, clinging to the light even as darkness closes in all around it. Rembrandt's The Night Watch, by far the most famous painting my homeland ever produced. It was commissioned to honor a militia made up of influential citizens. I guess you must have been an influential citizen? In my day. But not as influential as you've been in this new world. This is Rembrandt painting Jeremiah, a man in mourning. Mourning what? His home. The ancient city of Jerusalem. He foresaw its impending doom, but could do nothing to prevent it. So instead, he saved its treasures from destruction, just as I saved these works. You could say we're kindred spirits. My favorite pairing on the left is Woman Reading a Letter by Vermeer, a true master. And on the right is a forgery, Woman Reading Music. Which fooled experts into believing it was a priceless original. Early in my career, I became fascinated with such deceptions. Eventually, I developed scanning software that could detect fakes with unparalleled accuracy. Is that how you made enough money to buy your way onto the Odyssey? Oh no, I made my real fortune later. Selene and Endymion. She's the goddess of the moon. Whereas he's a simple shepherd. Beside her is the god of love, Cupid. So she's sneaking up on him? More like visiting him in secret. The torch that Cupid bears represents Selene's undying infatuation with him. Though the two must remain apart, her love will forever burn. portrait of the painter, Rembrandt's son, Titus, depicted in the habit of a monk. I don't get it. Why would someone like you, with infinite resources, care about this painting of a boy in a hood? It's not the image itself, but the feeling it conveys. The face is bright and defined, but his eyes are downcast, heavy with misfortune. And the background seems to swallow all light. The painting is infused with a sense of loss. I guess I understand how the painter feels. Stunning, isn't it? Paintings weren't the only masterpieces of my people's golden age. This is Van Vianen's lidded ewer, molded from a single sheet of silver. What was it for? How like Elizabeth you are. Function over form. Its practical purpose was less important than its meaning. Von Vianen created it in honor of his late brother, who himself was a famous silversmith. A memorial? Yes. Such beauty from sorrow. Done so soon? I've got more important things. Fine, I'm gonna examine the shit. A lot of weight on his there shoulders. is much we are trying to save. I know the feeling. She's pulling out her own hair. Out of madness, out of grief. It's hard to watch her suffer.
There you are. Feeling better? How did you find us at the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses, accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it, it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit? This was your house. The one you recreated for Beta in the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. After everything your people have done, you think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them and live with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. My old focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to. In order to understand. To be enlightened. You truly are Elizabeth's blood. With her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. There. That's better. Now. We must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship, a complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them, create the world she imagined. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee, building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Regala and her rebels. Even now, she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow Silence to kill him. Along with all the others. 
Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man, he's planned for everything. Except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way. One that only I know about. While Silence and my friends are busy battling each other, we'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. My old focus. How did you find it, let alone repair it? When we encountered you at the Hades Proving Lab, Gerard saw you as a redundancy. I knew better. You were a revelation. After your dramatic escape, bravo, by the way. Gerard and Eric assumed you were dead and gave up the hunt. I wasn't so sure. When the others were busy, I returned to the lab and searched for any trace of you. That's when I found this little treasure. Not easy to repair, but certainly worth the effort. As I watched your life unfold, you were like a splash of color on a worn canvas. What Liz was, and more. Did you show it to the others? Of course not. It was your actions that inspired me to defy them. It's worth noting that if I hadn't found it and watched its contents, I wouldn't have known to save you at the cauldron. You'd be dead. So I should be grateful? If you like. So you know all about me? What about you? What would you like to know? Well... Start with your life on Earth. When I was... Eight terrorists flooded my home city. Thousands drowned, my parents included. I was one of the few who survived. My guardian sent me to boarding school. Among my peers, I was the strange girl, the orphan to be avoided. All because of circumstances beyond my control. Oh. So we're a lot alike, huh? Aren't we? You were an outcast. But you didn't let that stop you from getting what you needed. Neither did I. I climbed my way out of desolation and used my wits to build a fortune. First from the technical analysis of art and the detection of forgeries. Profitable expertise in those days. But as it turned out, the software I developed was even more useful for counterintelligence. From there, it was only a short step to gathering extremely valuable intelligence on my own. You were a spy? More like a service one could turn to for information. I had to remain anonymous, of course, to protect my privacy. But despite that anonymity, Far Zenith inevitably sought me out. What happened when Farzenith approached you? They painted an irresistible vision of humanity's future. One where we need not fear illness or death, where we explored the furthest reaches of the stars and thrived. It was only later that I realized that they only intended to bequeath this future to the rich and powerful. By the time I finally figured it out, the walls were closing in, Faro's machines were devouring the Earth, so I accepted Farzenith's invitation to a birth on the Odyssey. I wanted Liz to come, but she had nobler plans, as you well know. So you didn't know the other Zeniths were monsters until it was too late? I, I knew some of them were, certainly. It, it wasn't until we were off planet that I understood the true scope of their greed. I was grateful to simply be alive, but the others became obsessed with a kind of effortless immortality. They built a colony where machines serviced their every need, where any memory or fantasy 
could be endlessly savored in virtual reality. It wasn't life. It was stultifying, a pampered dream state. As the decades passed, I withdrew more and more, alone yet again, but this time with eons to consider my mistakes. Now finally, having met you, I feel like I have a second chance. To do what? Help you, of course. To fulfill Liz's dream, which isn't so different from Farzina's original vision. A better future for humanity. You said Beta is not in urgent danger, so what are the Zeniths doing to her? Putting her to work. Merging Hephaestus with Gaia. A difficult, time-consuming task, as I'm sure you know. They will compel her if need be, but her life is not in danger. She's the only one who can do it. Because you people made her to be nothing but a tool. Gerard's idea, not mine. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted any form of kindness towards her. That's why I created the data channel. A virtual place where we could speak in peace. So this channel you shared with Beta, none of the other Zeniths ever found out about it. Gerard believes he's the most cunning of all of us. Even after a thousand years, he still can't imagine that I would outwit him. The channel allowed me to interact with Beta away from their mistrustful eyes. It offered us a chance to be ourselves. Until you cut off all contact. Yes. Though it pained me. I was worried that our meetings would do her more harm than good. Well, she felt like you tossed her aside. I was afraid the others would find out and punish her. She may not have had the comforts of friendship anymore, but at least I ensured she was safe. I know it seems harsh, but you must believe that her well-being has always been paramount to me. Why did you make the data channel look like this place? I built this house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place. Not just for me, but for the art stored below. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly, some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. Beta told me your colony was destroyed. That you came back to Earth because you had nowhere else to go. It's true. After we reached our destination, a planet in the Sirius star system, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries of mortality, gone. To think of what we could have done with it. It might have been a utopia. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in effortless comforts and virtual realities. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geological event. We knew of instabilities in the planet core, but we underestimated them. By the time the collapse was upon us, it was too late to stop it. Only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth, the only safe harbor left to us. Which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Not me. Gerard. He believes it's better to wipe the canvas clean than work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more combat machines, only a blank slate to do with as he pleases. But we will stop him. All we have to do is get into that base. What exactly is your plan to sneak into the Zenith base? We will make use of a lesson I learned from an early age. 
always know your exits. In this case, a place where Gerard's new construction meets the ancient foundation, a passage that only I can access. When Silence flings his army at the base, we will enter through this back door, bypassing most of the fighting. The distraction will provide us with a window in which to rescue Beta and Gaia. Amut lang kung mag-trust ko, ano yung sayo haba? Once we're inside the base, where will we find Beta and Gaia? Here, in the command center. By then, Gaia will have been reunited with all of its subordinate functions, including Hephaestus. What about the Alpha build of Apollo on your ship? A simple matter of recovery, once the others have been dealt with. With that in hand, we'll have everything we need to make this world as it should be. How do you know about Silence's plan? He isn't the only one adept at spyware. You hacked his focus? No, he's too careful for that. But his subordinates? <laughs> Not so much. He gave additional focuses to the tribals he branded the Sons of Prometheus. The ones working with Regala? By tapping their focuses, I learned about most of his dealings. The distribution of override technology, the arming of Tanakh rebels, and the secret pact with Regala to attack Gerard's base. But how did he come up with a weapon that can take down your shields? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out, but however he did it, I'm quite certain it will work. With it and the Tanakh army, victory seems to be within his grasp. Such a shame he'll be disappointed. Regala's only interested in killing Hakaro and waging war on the Karja. What does she have to gain by attacking Zenos? It's the price she must pay for her war. Without the ability to override machines, her little rebellion would have languished in the desert. So she trades with the Sons of Prometheus. Machines to help her overthrow Hikaro. In exchange for an assault on the base. Pride has deluded her into thinking she can actually survive such a battle. And all without ever knowing who the Sons of Prometheus really answer to. Yet, for all of Silence's brilliance, still he underestimates you. That blind spot is what will allow us to take Beta and Gaia right out from under him. While hundreds of Tanakh are cut down outside. So you knew Elizabeth. What was she like? Liz was everything she was. I see in you. And more. Your ingenuity, your determination, your moral compass. You've managed to distill her greatest qualities and make them your own. I'm not asking about me. Tell me about Elizabeth. What was she really like? The honest answer is that I don't actually know. For all the time that I spent with her, she always kept a part of herself locked away. It was like that from the moment we met. So when you met Elizabeth, she was what? Distant? Aloof? Not aloof. Not exactly. It was a summit in Paris about machine learning. A touchy subject in those days. Because regulatory authorities were just starting to clamp down on AIs. Liz gave the keynote address. She had already achieved great renown for her work in automated environmental reclamation. But in her address, she was just starting to imagine the next step. An AI-driven system that wouldn't just act on its programming, but actually take responsibility for its sphere of influence. To care about life, not just follow orders. Revolutionary stuff. I was fascinated, and I wanted to meet her for a long time. I watched her after her talk. She had spoken with such moral authority, such empathy. But after that, she retreated. I could tell she felt uncomfortable with all of her admirers. It was as if giving the talk had cost her something. 
I didn't want to be a pest, so I planned my approach carefully. So how did you finally approach Elizabeth after her talk? I picked the right moment. The morning of the next day, right as she came back to the conference, she had just had her coffee. She was fresh, rested. It was like she had braced herself for the onslaught of colleagues. I asked if I could walk with her, then put forth a question about her talk that I thought was intelligent. Her answer made me realize it wasn't, but she was very welcoming, almost as if we were previously acquainted. It was only halfway through the conversation that I realized she knew exactly who I was. It was quite a shock to me. My business was trafficking in secrets, and I took great pains to protect my anonymity. So that was Liz, perpetually one step ahead. I came to view our meeting as a metaphor for our friendship. She always seemed to know me far better than I knew her. I guess I know the feeling. All right, salamat humana ang dialogue. First Varl. Now Hikaru and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice. Sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deeper. Wait. The data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible. We might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. Oh, ako mo control ane? Eh? Or cinematic lang siya. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? You're alive. They're watching me. I, I can't hold it. This extra projection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise. Okay. I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. Again, when it's time, can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. All right, I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silence Army away. I don't need it. 
Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? Without Regala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That is between me and my sister. We'll be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Regala's rebellion. From the air. Wait. Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. Oh! The Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army, and they'll receive quite a surprise. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if. When. Aaron, are you there? Aloy! Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all... At, we're, we're back at base. What happened? It... It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. I, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy.